guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And this week's tutorial is a collaboration with one of my favorite game companies, Activision. I've been a huge Activision fan ever since my parents had an Atari. We're talking old school. And one of the first games I played on Atari was Pitfall. But this week's tutorial is not a retro game. And so for this week, you guys will learn how to make your very own Traptanium Quartz Crystals. These crystals are absolutely versatile. You can make them into any shape you want, turn them into little paperweights, or you can even turn them into single crystals and make them into mini swords. For those of you who don't know what game I'm talking about, it is the absolutely amazingly and terribly addictive game, Skylanders. I played this game on my Wii U and it's really interactive and so fun to play. It is one of those games that is just relaxing. So if you're playing a game that is really intense and you get like a mini heart attack every time you play, Skylanders is the game to go to. I love how you can change your characters based on which ones you collect. Every time you change your character on that pad, he appears magically on your TV screen. And you can level them up and give them upgrades. So it's kind of like a crossbreed between a platform and an RPG. I can spend a whole video talking about this game, but if you guys want to know more about it, I'll leave all the links in the description box below, and you should probably check it out. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. And if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your buddies. Here's what you'll need for this project. Sculpey's new color opal. If you don't have opal just yet, take some translucent and put a little bit of glitter. It's not going to give you the exact same effect, but close enough. Glow in the dark blue pigment. I will leave a link in the description box for where I got it from. Rounded and pointy tools. A good sharp cutter. A container that you can hold your mold in. This one is just a measuring cup that I put on a plastic piece with some glue. Blue glitter flakes. Your mold maker kit, this one is called Amazing Mold Rubber and I got this at Michael's. And your resin kit, if you don't know where to get resin from, try your craft store or a hardware store under the name of Epoxy Resin. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your opal and put in some of your blue glow-in-the-dark pigment. Remember, you want it to look really blue for this project. So that you get a nice blue that looks like this. You're going to roll it out into a log. That depends what kind of project you want to make. Now you're going to bake these for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once your pieces are baked, you're going to take your cutter and be very careful with it. You're going to cut a hexagonal shape. Leave the top part so that you slant it inwards to make it pointy. Make sure that you work really slowly. So that you have something that looks like this. For the base, you're going to take a small piece of unbaked clay, make it into a tiny mountain, place your two crystals on top, and then you're going to take the shavings that we took off and you're going to place them around the piece. That's going to look like crystal formations at the bottom. Now if you want to make it out of resin, you're going to make a chubby one or of course any other shape that you want. And you're going to take some of your unbaked clay again and put it at the bottom. We want this part to be as flat as possible because our mold is going to be standing. Now you're going to bake everything one last time for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven, again, was preheated. Now if you're happy with your Traptanium crystal as is like this, then you don't need to look any further. But if you're curious about how to make your own with resin, here's what you'll need to do. You're going to mix your mold maker kit according to the instructions in the package. Put your crystal standing up and then cover it entirely with the mold maker. Let it completely cure. That also depends on what brand you're using. This one should take about three to four hours. Once you unmold it, you're going to mix your resin also according to package instructions. Put a little bit of your glow-in-the-dark powdered pigment and some of your glitter flakes. Pour it into the mold and let it cure overnight. If you want to make this into a mini sword or a charm, take some of your gray clay, put it at the base, 
And then you're going to take your gray mica or pearlex powder, brush it on there, and then you're going to bake it again. And yes, it is safe to bake resin for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Have fun and get creative. You can do as many different colors as you want. Once it's out of the oven, you can put some black paint just to give it an antique look and a little more depth. If you're doing this with clay instead of resin, you don't need to have waited to bake this piece. You could do the whole piece together. All done! Now I know I didn't go into detail showing you guys how to make swords, but if you're interested in knowing how to make one, let me know in the comment section below and I will make a more detailed version. These were just the easy version, kind of inspired by the game. Don't forget to check out all the information for Activision and Skylanders in the description box below. And if you've already played Skylanders, let me know which is your favorite character because I am just starting to make my collection and it's pretty sad so far, but I'm pretty sure I'll catch up. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Equally, don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.